we continue with the volume of a solid of revolution learning outcomes at the end of this topic students should be able to determine the volume of a solid of revolution volume of a solid of revolution r is revolved completely about the x-axis r is revolved completely about the y-axis solid of revolution if a plane region is rotated about a straight line named as the axis of rotation the solid formed is called a solid of revolution let's say we have a set of rectangle here bounded by y equal to fx and a to b rotate about x axis or y equal to zero we will have a set of cylindrical disc where delta x equal to its high and f x i equal to radius so the volume of x i approximately equal to pi times f x squared times delta x the volume of one cylindrical disk equal to pi radius squared times high volume of x i approximately equal to pi f x i squared times delta x this is the volume of one cylindrical disk and here is the sum of volume of all the cylindrical disk then we will get v equal to limit and 10 to infinity the summation of one until n pi f x squared times delta x and 10 to infinity and delta x tend to zero then we will get volume equal to the integration of pi f x squared dx from a to b y equal to f x so our formula for volume is equal to pi integration of y square dx from a to b where y is the radius volume of a solid of revolution rotate region r 360 degree about case one x axis line y equal to zero case two y axis and line x equal to zero Case 1. Rotate R 360 degree about x axis or y equal to 0. The volume for the solid generated by revolving the region R about x axis between the graph of the continuous function y equal to fx and the x axis from A to B is integration of pi radius function square dx from a to b v equal to integration of pi y minus zero square dx from a to b then we have the formula v equal to integration of pi fx square dx from a to b Example 1. Find the volume of a solid of revolution generated by rotating region R bounded by the line y equal to 2x, x equal to 3, and x axis 360 degree about the line y equal to 0. Now we know that we have a cone with radius of 6 then we find out the formula of volume of 
coin v equal to 1 over 3 pi r square h we substitute r 6 into this formula and h equal to 3 we will get the answer 36 pi unit cube for second method we use the integration we have a v equal to pi the integration of fx squared dx from 0 to 3 then we have pi the integration of 2x squared dx from 0 to 3 so we simply get pi the integration of 4x squared dx from 0 to 3 then we integrate it we will have 36 pi unit cube as our answer example 2 the curve y equal to square root of x the line x equal to 2 and the x-axis from sides of bounded region R. Find the volume of the solid generated by revolving R about the x-axis. Then we have the volume equal to pi the integration of y squared dx from 0 to 2. It's equal to the pi the integration of square root of x to the power of 2 dx. We integrate it. We will have pi times x square over 2 from 0 to 2 then we will have 2 pi unit cube as our answer case 2 rotate region r 360 degree about y axis or line x equal to 0 between the graph of continuous function x equal to fy and the y axis from C to D is the integration of pi radius function square dy from C to D become the integration of pi x minus 0 square dy from C to D. Then we conclude that the formula is V equal to the integration of pi fy square dy from c to d sample 3 find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by y equal to x cube y equal to 8 and then x equal to 0 around the y axis so that we will get this hemisphere we have x cube equal to y then gy equal to cube root of y we know volume equal to the integration of pi gy squared dy from c to d then for our problem we have pi the integration of cube root of y squared dy from 0 to 8 we simply get by the integration of y to the power of 2 over 3 dy from 0 to 8. We integrate it, we will get pi times 3y, 5 over 3 over 5 from 0 to 8. Then our answer is 96 pi over 5 unit cube. Case 3. Region R is between two curves. Revolve 360 degree about line Y equal to 0 or X axis. Suppose Y1 equal to Fx and Y2 equal to Gx and close between of this graph and the line A to B. So the volume is equal to the integration of pi times y1 square minus y2 square dx from A to B. Case 4. Region R is between two curves. Revolve 360 degree about line x equal to 0 or y axis. Okay. Suppose that 
x1 equal to fy and x2 equal to gy and it enclosed from c to d then the volume equal to the integration of pi times x1 square minus x2 square dy from c to d example 4 sketch the graph of y equal to 8 minus x square and y equal to x square find the points of intersection of the two graphs hence Find the volume for the solid generated when the region bounded by the two graph is rotated through 360 degrees about the x-axis. The solution is... We assume the points of intersection of the two graph BA and B. So the equation become x square equal to 8 minus x square and we solve the quadratic equation we have x equal to plus minus 2 when we substitute x equal to 2 we will have y equal to 4 then substitute x equal to negative 2 y equal to 4 also then our coordinates for a is negative 2 4 and coordinates for b is so the volume is equal to pi the integration of 8 minus x squared the power of 2 minus x squared the power of 2 dx from negative 2 to 2 then we simply have Pi, the integration of 64 minus 16 x squared dx from negative 2 to 2. Later on, we factor out 16 becomes 16 pi, the integration of 4 x squared dx from negative 2 to 2. So we integrate it, we will get 16 pi. 4x minus x cubed over 3 from negative 2 to 2. Then we calculate it. We will have 512 pi over 3 as our answer. Now do some exercise and refer to your lecturer.